I, I'm sure that you have experienced, Father Stavros, um, a lot of visitors lately. In the last few mm-hmm. years, Orthodox churches uh, have been receiving a lot of non-Orthodox visitors that are inquiring, that are testing, that are viewing. Uh, a lot of people are interested in that. And I would say that a good majority of at least the ones that we are encountering here in the Pittsburgh area are those who are um, from an evangelical background. Um, When you explain to someone the difference between a kind of freestyle, you know, do what you feel, worship, very emotional versus the divine liturgy, uh, which certainly I think, and I, I believe this is the, the point of your book, is you can actually enter into this and it can be a, a very meaningful emotional experience. How do you uh, explain to someone who's not used to liturgical worship, this this formal worship, why that is so important versus kind of do what you think, do what you feel, make it up as you go along? Well, that's a great question. So um, feelings are funny because they come and they go. So we can't really base anything on on feelings. I could be having the best day and at some point I might have a feeling of hunger and it's going to like mess up my day because I got to go eat or I got to go sleep. So, you know, we don't go to liturgy for a feeling. Um, sometimes I feel great joy there. And sometimes I don't feel great joy. Sometimes it's like, well, I just, I came. Um, and, and so when people come looking for a feeling and they don't get it, then they, they march on to something else. Um, we go to liturgy. I go to liturgy to stand in the presence of God. Regardless of how I'm feeling, I need to be in the presence of God. I could be feeling very down on myself. Maybe I committed a sin and I say like, oh my gosh, I, have, I feel completely inadequate here. I have no, no business being here today. I will skip because I, I am so sinful. That that's the wrong thing. Like if you're sinful, you you need to be there even more. Um, so I'm there to stand right. in the presence of God, and we have this um, order to our worship that that gives us structure. Without structure and order, we have chaos. Now we don't. There's a temptation to worship the order. I mean, when I was a child and I was sort of had my first thoughts about the priesthood, you know, I wanted to dress like the priest. I wanted to wear vestments like the priest. But that that's not what the, the service is about. That we, We're not there to worship the vestments or the incense or the priest himself. We're there to worship God. But these are all tools that, that bring our focus into God. You know, for instance, um, I, I gave a seminar once recently and I was talking about the use of incense. And... I said, you know, the priest senses the holy images in the church. He senses the altar, he senses the icons, and then he senses the people. And I said, does anyone know why he would sense the people? And people are like, well, we really don't know. And I said, but because we are created in the image and likeness of God. So we are, God made us as icons, iconis of him. And I said, if you are an image of God in a world that sort of devalues everything, it means that you have value. So in addition to the normal, you know, let my prayer rise with the incense, that auditory sound and the visual smell, uh, the visual sight and the and the smell of the incense should remind you actually that you have value. You have value in the eyes of God. And someone came up to me after the, the seminar and said, "Thank you, Father, for telling me that I have value because I, I I don't think I have much value." And I said, "Well, among other messages you get wow. in the liturgy is that you have value." Wow, that's very very powerful. I really appreciate that. And. You know, the idea that if you don't have order, you have chaos, like that's really true. And uh, we can see that sometimes uh, uh, in, you know, people that are just sort of making it up as they go along. It's the the feelings of the pastor or the feelings of the music director instead of uh, being led by the spirit of God. Uh, Father, well, we I, have if I can, a... If I, if I can, yeah, please. If I can interject for just a second. You know, um, someone said to me that's outside our faith, another non-Orthodox clergyman, do I feel that I have no freedom because I don't... I, I'm in, I'm encumbered by I have to do this gospel. I have to do these petitions. Don't you, don't you wish you had some freedom and do it as you wish? And I said, I actually feel more free because I don't have to think about that. I can't imagine the stress I would be under every week if I had to come up with something to top last week's service. Um, we have a service, and I know that when I've done that service, I have taken a complete tour of the world, and I have communed with God, and what could be more powerful than that? <laughs> 